Hello, everybody. Welcome to our session, Save the Day by Monitoring Your Org with Open Source Tools. First of all, we want to thank you for coming to the session. And let's start with a quick round of introductions. Oops. What happened? There is no slide. OK. Anyhow, <laughs> my name is Olga. I'm a senior consultant at Cloud Muscle. Uh, it's an uh, SI partner based in the Netherlands. And on my free time, I also organize a Your Dreaming event, which is a trailblazer community in the Benelux. And my name is uh, Nicolas Viami. I am a CTO at Cloudity, a new European uh, Salesforce integration partner. Very glad uh, to be here with you today. Yep. Uh, let's set the stage for our presentation today. Um, we're going to have a few characters. I'm going to play uh, a fortune teller, Madame Cassandra. Then we're going to have a functional admin called Admiral. And Nico is going to play a release manager called Bubbles. I think that's me. <laughs> so <laughs> something is broken in production, in production org. OK, so uh, basically, the story is that mm. I arrived this morning. I am release manager, and the production is not working anymore. I have my sales people. They are not able to create a single opportunity. And of course, they are calling for help, because Salesforce is their uh, tool uh, of work. So what can they do? So as a good release manager, I know that probably some admin did something directly in production. Could be updating a flow, could be playing with data model, could be, I don't know, updating a validation rule custom metadata, permissions, apex, whatever. We know that a silly admin can break a perfect production org in a single click. That's also the power of Salesforce. So uh, there, uh, Cassandra, Madame Cassandra, you can uh, read a uh, lot of things. So please, can you tell me what happened last night and what broke my production org? Look, my friend, I would love to help you, but I can see the future, but not the past. I can tell you tomorrow lottery numbers, though. Will they work? Uh, that's really nice from you, but uh, how does that help me? I, I really need to know what happened last night. Do you have some fillets to suggest so I can know what happened? OK, OK, let me help you. Let me get my crystal ball in action. Wow. Mm, I see. There is this tool called SFDX Hardis. It can help you with monitoring your org. Uh, OK, well, what it is? What can I do with that? Well. It works quite simple. So you connect it to Git repository, schedule your jobs, pick your notification channel, it can be Slack or Teams, and then you get notification when something is broken. So basically, you are saying that something will be automatically running every night, analyze what needs to be analyzed, do backups, uh, and send uh, useful notifications to Slack, Microsoft Teams, or even reports, or who knows, Grafana? Exactly. Whoa. So can you please tell me more. Yeah, you just pick your Git repository, pick your notification channel. If you get lost, follow the simple tutorial that you can find online, and you're all set. Would you like to know what kind of notifications you can get? OK, so far, to summarize, whatever uh, stuff I have, uh, Git, uh, Jenkins, whatever, it can work. Yes? Please tell me more. Sure, let's do it. So. The first notification that you can get is your daily metadata backup. So that way you compare uh, the metadata from previous days or even previous weeks or months. And if you have multiple orgs connected, you can also compare data between the different orgs. Mm, that seems to be a good start. Oh, I can travel in time. Exactly. To see the exact uh, state of my org any day of the year or yeah, it's like wow. having the crystal ball of your own. OK, th that looks interesting, but that doesn't tell me who broke something. Uh, maybe I can, so maybe you have something more? Well, wait, you're very impatient. Yeah. Wait, let I me am. tell you more. You know, oh. there are a uh, setup audit trail in Salesforce org, yeah, right? Yeah, the big, uh, big, yeah, big files, Yeah, it's uh, very boring. Nobody goes yeah. and reads there it anyways. So with this notification, you'll get a nice re uh, report. Who did and what? Maybe somebody created a new flow or uh, created a new custom field or custom object, new validation rule. You will see everything here at a glance. OK, so it seems like with that, I can start to point fingers to the guilty ones, maybe one of the people here. Yes, you can. OK, what else? You can also get notified if your test classes are failing. So I can also know what uh, process has been broken? Yes, well, let's say if your admin created a new uh, required field but didn't update the test classes, 
you you'll get the certification. You are starting to be interesting for a fortune teller. Please, can you tell me more again? Sure, you're vague. You want more and more. I want it, more and more. OK. Ah. You can also get notified about quality and uh, security breaches. So we have uh, Megal Inter run on the background that uh, runs Apex PMD, Lightning Flow scanners, and security checks. So you will get notified if somebody put a Gmail statement inside your loop. Or there is a um, validation rule which is inactive. So okay. it also helps you to keep your org squeaky clean. OK, so I see Salesforce Code Analyzer. It means that the content of the wonderful session I saw yesterday, it's out of the box and yeah. running every night. Yeah. Wow. She's good. <laughs> and I'm sure if you want to know when your org limits are getting uh, close, get into your limits, right? So you can also get notified about so, that. So I can know before Salesforce calls me to sell me more storage, then uh, they will call me and... Uh, yeah, Salesforce will be very, very unhappy. <laughs> OK, so more money for my preferred fortune teller. Perfect, I like it. Next, unused uh, user license, because this is my favorite one, right? If you save money, you can come to me for mm. another advice, yes. right? So that. again, you get a nice report that you can get in the CSV or Excel format that gives you all the details about the users who have not logged in in a long time, what kind of profile they have, and what kind of license they have. So again, okay, you so can all, uh, keep your org in check. All those users uh, who are complaining about Salesforce not using them, I can know. Again, I can point fingers. Yeah. Nice. Something else again? And wow. last one I kept for the best, especially for Dreamforce 24. Uh, we added the new notification that will tell you when you have upcoming release updates. Again, how often do you go in a setup and check upcoming release updates? Probably never, right? So with this notification, you, uh, which runs every week, you'll get to know what updates are due, and maybe you have something overdue already. Again, you can uh, keep on. Uh, you can stay so on no track. More, so no more bad surprise because there was uh, some uh, platform upgrade like Winter 25 I didn't uh, anticipate. And good. Yeah. Good. Good. So okay, what do you think about all those notifications? I, I think I think it's interesting. It looks okay. Information. We like information. But it seems that with uh, your uh, tool, I will spend uh, half an hour reading dozens of notifications every morning. And uh, I'm not that clever. I don't know how to read very well. Uh, do you have maybe something with more pictures of schemes, something more visual? Well, again, you're never satisfied, Bubbles. I always have to do extra things for you. But again, let's see my crystal ball in action one more time. Oh, I see it. There is another tool that you can use, and it's called Grafana. It's a. Uh, That's what I want. That's Grafana. <laughs> That's what I want. Sorry, you have the same screen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a very beautiful dashboard where you can see all your notifications and all your metrics at a glance, and you can drill down to see more details. OK. OK, OK, OK. Oh, and you even have evolution of indicators in time. Yes. My boss loves KPIs. So I think uh, and the be best happy thing with that. About it, it's also free. Again, free. Again, free. But is this is Christmas, or? I know, no. right? So you get three users for free. Plus, it comes with 14 pre built dashboards. And of course, you're more than welcome to build your own and share them with the community. OK, so I'm convinced I will install all that in uh, 30 seconds. This is the magic of demos. Yeah, I think it's time to show our audience uh, everything is in and, action. Uh, imagine one, one hour after, and then, oh, the night has passed, and I have a run. Uh, my monitoring, and I see, I see there are new notifications on Slack. So well, the first notification is, I see that some updates have been uh, detected. So it is the backup. I see, ooh, flow, custom field, mm, can be a little bit uh, worrying. But uh, let's see the next notification. I now can see the name of the person who makes the updates during the night. Do you know this? Olga Shirikova. No, no, never heard about her. She's uh, probably somewhere out there, walking if, around. If someone knows her, please tell me who she is, because we'll have to have a serious discussion, because this is not respecting the CI/CD pipeline process. So, but anyway, uh, we'll try to find her later. Now, let's try to see how we can solve the problem, because we are here for that. And uh, oh, oh, I see test classes failing. Okay, so let's go to one of my preferred tools, Visual Studio Code. Yes. 
Uh, and uh, we can see that we have a state of all uh, all of the backups that happen every day, sometimes several times by day when I'm preparing demos. And uh, I see that on the latest state of the backup, I can see the whole list of files who are different. So if I look, for example, at the flow, I can see that this Olga added a condition on the flow. But uh, what is it? Equal to Dreamforce? Probably it is that, that makes my opportunity uh, creation fail. OK, and what else uh, did uh, the admin do? Created a field we love Dreamforce. Required, so required field added directly in production, best way to break everything. And, uh, and also, as it is well, not enough, I see that the not required field has been sold out required. So with Git, uh, the one who knows uh, now, now I can, I can know how to roll back those features. So thanks to the monitoring, I can take the previous version, directly roll back it, and uh, save my uh, poor salesman who can uh, not sell opportunities anymore. So, so now you have solved the problem, but we have talked to you about a visual way, Grafana. So maybe we can show them, do you think? Yeah. Sure. Not sure it will work, huh? All right. Let's, uh, let's be optimistic. So, oh, static page works. Uh, so we can see that, uh, as this is a fake demo sandbox, all the limits are quite OK. But uh, we would have uh, awful red numbers if we were uh, uh, being uh, closer and closer to 75% or 100. Or I'm sure uh, some of you already uh, saw that, maybe 150% uh, uh, happens. Uh, I can see the other indicators that I had in the long uh, Slack notifications. Uh, so for example, uh, the suspicious updates. So uh, I can see, uh, oh, OK. Mostly uh, today and yesterday, but most of the times, people are letting uh, my uh, production org uh, alone. And if I want the detail, I scroll down and I have uh, the detail of all the updates. So for example, I can see that this uh, anonymous Olga Shirikova uh, set a field as required. I can also see that uh, she uh, updated the flow. So basically, uh, with, uh, from the main dashboard, I have the direct access to all the indicators fresh from the last night. I, can, uh, I want to show you all the indicators, but uh, I'm a nerd, I like test classes. I will show you that we can see uh, the health of test classes in my production. We can also see the detail, of course. And uh, what else could we show? Maybe the famous release updates. So with the release updates, you know the septic page nobody ever goes uh, before it's too late. So here, I can see that, oh, I already have actions that are overdue. So I really should uh, take care of them before uh, some uh, accident happens. And also, as it is uh, soon uh, spring, I would like to clean a little my org. So if I want to clean my org, for example, I will uh, look for uh, validation rules that are deactivated in production. Are they meant to exist if they are not used? Probably not. So with uh, such indicators about um, technical depth, we can know what is uh, kind of dirty in our org and uh, make it uh, uh, bright and shine new uh, again. And, and, and uh, I also know oh, uh, I can also know the licenses and the packages. Uh, ah, better like that. Uh, so the, the ones are on, the ones that are used, same for the licenses. And also it can be useful because sometimes a lot of people install a lot of managed package directly in production. You never know, you don't see, etc. So here you also have the list of, uh, of package installed in production. So, so basically, this is kind of uh, the whole information that you can see uh, from the single dashboard. Uh, and if you want to see that uh, limits can really work, uh, I didn't plan this one. I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but let's blame the Wi-Fi. Uh, but, uh, but here, we should uh, see uh, limits that are, uh, that are not OK. And uh, that's all for the demo. Uh, so maybe Great. we could uh, switch back uh, to our nice slides. Uh. OK. So our story now has a happy ending. Our release manager is happy with having the open source tools that can help him to monitor the org. I'm a fortune teller happy with the happy client. Customer satisfaction right, is a priority for us. And we have admins 
who do not touch stuff in production anymore. Yeah, because once admins are seen doing uh, something directly in production, when they know that they, we will know and all the team will know, strangely, they stop breaking the production. Don't know why. Uh, so, so this kind of tool can really be useful to, uh, to have a more secure production org. If you want uh, to uh, have all that for free, really for free, no free run, no whatever, it's all 100 open source. Uh, so, uh, so if you want tomorrow to install that in your orgs, please uh, be our guest. And if you have any questions, of course, you can contact us uh, on LinkedIn or whatever, GitHub also. Yeah, so uh, just find the QR code and you can find all resources there. Thank you for your time. And thanks a lot for your time. And please fill in the survey. We would like to hear your feedback. And uh, I have a little bit something to add. So it was the first Dream for Speaker sessions for Olga. So if I could have a big round of applause for Olga. Thank you. <laughs> she staged all the sessions. Really, she has been wonderful. So thank you, Olga, for being here. And thank you to here. Nico for inviting me. And the